Hey all, so we've got some really interesting stuff from Ultimate Hunting this week. Now let's go through it. One of the things we got was an Ultimate Hunting gear guide for the Owali KP-2. Now let's read through it. Owali KP-2 Type Express Calibers 308 Winchester, 306 and 4570 Customization, Sight, Scope, Muzzle, Calibers Trivia the Wally KP-2 Double Barrel Express Rifle is a perfect choice for hunting and long range shooting. Equipped with a 4570 caliber, the rifle is designed to deliver extreme accuracy and maximum stopping power. With its two barrels, the KP-2 provides faster follow-up shots and increased stability. The durable construction and precision engineering of the rifle make an ideal choice for hunters, competition shooters and recreational shooters alike. Whether you're pursuing large game or simply enjoying the day plinking, the Owali KP-2 Double Barrel Express Rifle is the perfect choice. Now, very quick fact. Apparently in Cherokee, a Wally means eagle, which is really cool. Now, something I'm really intrigued by is the fact that we're getting a 30 6 caliber in a double barrel. Not something that's unheard of, but definitely very uncommon. And I like this idea. Also, I noticed that they are speaking about adding a scope to this, which I also find very interesting because personally i have not come across a double barrel that's got a scope on it the calibers definitely lend themselves to a scope so i want to see how this looks before i comment on it any further unfortunately the other image that i've got of this rifle is not very high quality so please just excuse the fact that i can't zoom in very far and take a closer look at the details but ultimately this gun looks really good and i like it Definitely not something I'd be opposed to using in game. And the fact that we're getting a double barrel that we'd be able to use on the California map is a fantastic idea. So, yes. Then, sticking on the rifle theme, we got a little example of another engraving. And this engraving is on a shotgun. Now, once again, the image I've got is not fantastic, so I can't zoom in very far, unfortunately. I really don't know why the images I got this week weren't very high quality, but I've got to say, I really like the attention to detail, the fact that you've got pheasants in the engraving. We've seen this shotgun before. It is this one over here. And yes, I don't know what more I can say, apart from the fact that having engravings on it definitely makes it look a lot better. So, well done, Ultimate Hunting. And then we got this, a look at the 4x4. And I've got to say, I really do like this. This is obviously a mix between a Toyota Land Cruiser and a Land Rover Defender, but I think they've done a really good job with mixing the two. I'm not opposed to the color scheme. The fact that it's a lighter color is really good. I'm not sure if we've got the option of changing colors of the vehicles. It could be something we can look into. Having a roof rack, I'm curious about. I don't know if it's just aesthetics or if it's actually going to have a purpose, but regardless, I think this thing looks fantastic. You even notice the mud on the side of the vehicle. This is also something I'm not sure of. I don't know if this is going to build up over time or if it's going to be there from the beginning. Right now, I don't think it's priority for them to focus on things like this. But ultimately, I really like this and I can see myself adventuring through Africa with one of these. But folks, that's everything I've got for this week. Let me know down in the comments what you think. What did you think of the Owali? What did you think of the fact that we're getting a double barrel 30-06? The engravings on the shotgun, do you think they're a nice addition? And then lastly, our 4x4, what are your thoughts? But thank you so very much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.